Yeah, hi, this is Mansur Mirza. Um, I'm in uh, IGCS New York, and um, here I will be discussing um, endometrial cancer therapy, the hormonal treatment in, um, uh, in recurrent low-grade um, endometrial cancer. Actually, this topic uh, is a little bit outdated uh, since we have uh, got the molecular classification. I would have uh, changed that topic in a different way, but let's start with the recurrent uh, variant cancer of grade 1 and 2 endometroid adenocarcinoma, which is so-called low-grade. Um, and we know that there is some role of uh, endocrine therapy for, as a single agent. You can treat these patients with megastrol acetate. You can treat these patients with letrozole. Unfortunately, like the single agent chemotherapy, hormonal therapy has also only a very marginal effect with a progression-free survival in most of the trials um, around three to four months, uh, and which is not enough. Um, so, the, so I think what we have learned from the molecular classification that the, these the, these the tumors can be treated differently according to their molecular profile. Um, uh, one could be that you can combine it with the CDK4-6 inhibitors. We presented the data on a phase two randomized trial of uh, that was called uh, paleo trial um, uh, in ESMO 2020, um, uh, and and that showed that there was a clear benefit of combining letrozole with um, a CDK4-6 inhibitor versus letrozole plus, plus placebo. And fortunately, a phase three trial will be starting now uh, to uh, uh, to see if this holds in the phase three, so we can bring this combination to patients uh, in future. So that is one thing. Other other ideas are to look at the molecular profiling of these patients. If you can see, mostly these patients have P10 mutations, and mTOR inhibitors could be uh, of of uh, of benefit. We uh, are still working to find out how to manage mTOR inhibitors due to the toxicity profile. Another uh, area could another mutation which is common in these. Uh, tumors is uh, pic 3 ca and and we have uh, uh, trials uh, being planned uh, to work uh, in uh, in the patients who have pic 3 ca mutation and we can we can look at the, the look at see if, if we can find drugs which are uh, affecting these tumors. Uh, and another very interesting area we saw uh, this year uh, was the pa these patients, so, so endometroid grade one and two, these patients, almost all of them are P53 wild type. And there we saw a very interesting results of uh, uh, a drug called Selinexor, selective inhibitor of nuclear export, uh, which was a maintenance therapy. Um, and in P50, the subgroup of P53 wild type, uh, there was a 10 months increase in PFS. So there is a phase three trial starting there. So as you can see that we cannot call low grade as a low grade anymore. It is molecular classification we have to use and we have to sort of go through all these a subset of the of the uh, treatment, uh, and of course, um, uh, immune therapy with lambatinib has shown uh, quite a good benefit in these patients as well. So there are so much happening here. I don't think that we would be having such titles in future of our talks, low grade or high grade. It will be according to the molecular classification.